The IST1820 voice recorder and playback module used in this video is sponsored by the DigitSpace. DigitSpace is an open source hardware provider. They supply innovative, user-friendly open source hardware products at extremely low prices. There are situations when you need to play a specific recorded voice message depending on the situation. Like for example, in case if someone end up in a car accident, when a sensor detects a strong hit, a pre-recorded voice message is played endlessly. Please help me. Anybody there? Please help me. Anybody there? Please help me. Anybody there? The IST1820 voice recorder and playback module can also be used in security-based projects. When an intruder is detected, a voice message is played endlessly intruder detected intruder detected intruder detected intruder detected the ist1820 module can be used in offices where you need to play different voice messages for example when someone opens the door a welcome message is played only one time Welcome to Electronic Clinic. Welcome to Electronic Clinic. If it's a break time, you can record a new message. Now this time, if someone opens the door, the break time voice message will be played. Break time, please come back after 30 minutes. You can record different messages depending on the situation. In this episode you will learn how to interface the IST1820 voice recorder and playback module with Arduino, how to manually and automatically play different voice messages using different types of sensors. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from DigitSpace and Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is the IST1820 voice recorder and playback module. This voice recorder module comes with a non-volatile storage and playback capability for 8 to 20 seconds. The recording time can be changed which I will discuss in a minute. As you can see this voice recorder module is provided with push buttons which means you can directly or manually control this module. This voice recorder module is also provided with mail headers due to which it can be easily interfaced with different types of controller modules such as Arduino, STM32, 8051 family of controllers, PIC microcontrollers and so on. This module is also provided with an on-chip audio amplifier that can drive a 0.5 watt 8 ohm speaker directly without the need of any external amplifier circuit. This speaker is good for the testing purposes but if you are planning to use this module in a real project then you will need to connect the output of this module to an external amplifier IC like for example LM386. If you want to change the recording duration, an external resistor is necessary to select the record duration and sampling frequency which can range from 8 to 20 seconds. Currently the record duration of this module is 10 seconds as this module by default comes with a 100k resistor. As per the data sheet, you can select any of these resistors to select a record duration of your choice. By following this typical schematic, you can also make this module by yourself. You can download this data sheet from my website electronicclinic.com. This is the IST1820 IC. 
a microphone. This is where we connect the positive and ground wires of the speaker. As you can see the three push buttons and mail headers are clearly labeled as a record, play E, play L, VCC, ground, FT, PL, PE and record. First let's check how this module can be manually controlled. Connect 5 volts and ground from the Arduino or a power supply with the VCC and ground pins. Now press the record button and start talking. Welcome to Electronic Clinic. To play the entire voice message, press play E. Welcome to Electronic Clinic. You need to push and hold the play L button and the message starts playing and if you want to stop the playback at any time, simply release the button. This speaker is not going to work in real projects, so before I'm going to explain how this module can be automatically controlled using Arduino and sensors, first I'm going to replace the speaker with these speakers which are powered up using the external power supply. Now let's play the same message again and again using the Arduino. As you can see the circuit diagram is very simple. The VCC and ground pins of the ISD 1820 voice recorder and playback module are connected with the Arduino's 5 volts and ground. While the PE pen is connected with the Arduino's pin number 5. Now let's write a very simple Arduino program to play this voice message again and again. For the ISD1820 voice recorder module you don't need any library. As you can see the PE pen of the voice recorder module is connected with the Arduino pin number 5. This pin is set as the input using the pen mode function. Now to play a voice message endlessly you need to change the pin status. I have already uploaded this program. Let's watch this in action. Welcome to Electronic Clinic. Welcome to Electronic Clinic. Welcome to Electronic Clinic. Now let's make this a little bit complex by making a hit detection system for a car. So when a hit is detected, a voice message will be played endlessly. This time I added the flexi force sensor which is also known as the force sensitive resistor. One leg of the flexi force sensor is connected with the Arduino's 5 volts, while the other leg of the flexi force sensor is connected with a 10k resistor. A wire from the middle of the flexi force sensor and a 10k resistor is connected with the Arduino's analog pin A0. A 47 microfarad electrolyte capacitor is connected in parallel with a 10k resistor. If you want to learn in detail about the Flexi Force sensor, then watch my tutorial on the Flexi Force sensor. You can find a link in the description. I'm using the same Arduino pin number 5. Rest of the programming I have already explained in the Flexi Force Getting Started tutorial. You can find a link in the description. In the code I did a little modification. I added the F condition which means if the force value is greater than or equal to 3 then enter into an infinite while loop which plays the voice message again and again. I have already uploaded this program and recorded a voice message. Let's watch this in action. Please help me. Anybody there? Please help me. Anybody there? Please help me. Anybody there? This time an LDR module is connected with the Arduino. The LDR module VCC and ground pins are connected with the Arduino's 5 volts and ground. While the T0 pin of the LDR module is connected with the Arduino's pin number 6. Using this variable resistor, the sensitivity of the LDR module can be adjusted. A laser module will be placed in front of this module so anyone crossing the laser will block the light falling on the LDR which signals the microcontroller to play the voice message. 
Now let's have a look at the Arduino programming. As you can see the LDR module D0 pin is connected with the Arduino pin number 6. Using the if condition we check if the light falling on the LDR is blocked. So if someone has blocked the light then the control enters into an infinite while loop and play the voice message endlessly. I have already uploaded this program. Let's watch this in action. Intruder detected. Intruder detected. Intruder detected. Intruder detected. This time a read switch or sensor is connected in series with a 10k resistor. This is a pull up resistor. When the door is closed, ground is connected with the Arduino spin number 6. When the door is opened, 5 volts are connected with the Arduino spin number 6. Now let's have a look at the Arduino programming. This is the same program. This time I only changed the pin name from LDR to read underscore sensor. And I deleted the infinite while loop. I'm using two if conditions to check if the door is closed or the door is opened. This way the voice message is played only one time when the door is opened. To play the same message again, first the door should be closed and then open again. I have already uploaded this program. Let's watch this in action. Welcome to Electronic Clinic. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.